We bought this car from a guy in Chicago. I bought a 72 Nova that had a big buck in it and I was playing around with it and it was actually a customer wanted to go to the racetrack. So I find this car, this car was built by, by a guy in Chicago that was a memorial to his dad. His mom, his mom kind of, well, his dad had passed away, kind of calling kind of some rough times. He sold the car to save his mom's house. So we get the car, it had a, it had a 605 in it, big chief headed 605. Cause we went to the racetrack, car ran, uh, I don't know, five, six oh six twenties on the motor. We turned the fucking bottle on. It went like a 580. He got out of the car and said, I'm done. And he ended up, he ended up, would never drive the car again. Drove it straight, straight to straight to street. Did a great job driving the car. He just said, that's all I want to do. I'm done. And I ended up getting the car from him. So when I ended up getting this car, um, the Nova that I'd bought had a, had a applied nitrous plate on it. The, the Nova. And I'd been talking to Jeff Prop, And Jeff Prop, I, I was learning after 18 years of being out of this deal, when I go to put a car back together, you know, I'm going, I've got, I've still got the fogger that, that, that Mike Thermos sponsored for my car. And that was, fuck, 30, 40 years ago. Still have it. Um, so I'm calling, I, I call a friend of mine, Bo Woody, and I say, hey, dude, I can't find the, 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 the real jet charts. They're showing the nitrous is, is bigger than the, than the fuel. Mike Thermos is who taught me how to tune nitrous back then, but back then everything was wrong and everything had changed. So we're starting all back over again. I'd called Jeff Prop, and he was a very, very helpful guy. You know, he was telling me how that plate worked and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So this thing had a single fogger on it. Well, then we decided we're gonna do drag week. So I'd bought a manifold online that was, uh, now I'm doing a little bit better. You know, I'm out of prison. I've started my own company. I'm, I'm making a little bit of money, got the, the, the shop going. So I buy the, the intake you guys have seen that was on the old rig right there. Another thing got me up my feelings. Since I'm not now back to wearing a, a, a extra large shirt, I pulled out one of the original Reaper shirts that Stainless Works done. Kind of got me up in my feelings over this. So, now Jeff Prock and Monty Smith were partners at one time, and they had a falling out. So, I'm going to shorten up that, that part of the story. But Jeff had took the motor. We'd, I'd set the, the, the car and the motor out there because I was working so much, I was just going to pay him to do it. When we, when we came off the reserve list, or the, the, yeah, the reserve list for drag week, we had like three weeks and Jeff didn't have the motor in the car yet. So me and my brother went down there. We were in, uh, we were in North Carolina for 11 days, putting the car back together, putting the fast fuel injection on it, dry nitrous deal, and couldn't get the car. The car didn't want to fucking leave right. So when we went to drag week, we went totally unfucking tested. Kind of like a pattern here, but it, it, it just didn't want to ever fucking run on the nitrous. Jeff had told me, well, you know what? Anyway, there was a problem between Jeff and Monty that I won't get into, but he told me, don't let that guy touch this car. Well, we can't get the fuck car to fall out of a tree. I mean, we take a car that by all rights, Jeff, Jeff had allowed that we should be able to run, you know, 730s, 740s with this car, and we're running fucking 830s and rolling black smoke out of it. The guys from Fast, Kevin Winstead, and, and Aaron were trying to help us with the car. Um, well, Monty Smith come walking over to the car. He seen the applied nitrous sticker on the side of it. And he goes, oh, I see you guys are with Jeff. If you need anything, I'm at the NOS trailer. You guys need anything, need your nitrous refilled, any of that, I'll take care of it. Come on over. Glad to see you guys here. That was it. Well, when we kept having the problems and couldn't figure it out, I'm putting more and more and more uh, fuel to this, th or taking fuel out of it, and it's still rolling black smoke. Gerald says, fuck it. He took the plugs over to Monty, and I said, hey, you can't do that. You know him? He goes, hey, I don't care. I, I don't care. We're here trying to race. I want to find out what's going on with it. Monty said, this thing's just way fat. So Jeff told me, quit, quit taking fuel out of it. Let's step the jet up. So I pulled the 32 out and stuck a 40 in it. I had to go buy them from Monty. And then I found a bunch of the jets in the in the in the this brand new system was fucking plugged up. And 
when I turned loose the button, this car stood up on the, it's, it, it, at Memphis, it went four foot in the air and the car turned and was headed towards the wall on the back tire sideways. And, and back up until then, I always heard if you had the front end off the ground, you got 125% of the weight on the back of the car, it will not spin a tire. Well, the fuck if it won't. And by then, we'd already knocked the rings out of the, out of the fucking thing. So, when drag week was all said and done, we, we ended up at second place in Power Adder Modified. Um, but uh, Todd Meshmeyer, I was talking to him, and we were talking about all the problems I was having with this car. And uh, he said, hey, he goes, what is your vacuum reading? He said, what, you know, because I'd, I'd lost a piston in the Nova and lost a piston, uh, I think, in it. And he said, what's the, what? I said, well, fuck, dude, zero. He said, no, not engine vacuum, crankcase vacuum. I said, I, I have no idea. He goes, you don't data log? He said, don't you have a 7531 box? I said, yeah. He goes, you do not data log the, the crankcase vacuum. You got a fast on it too, right? I said, yeah. He goes, and you're not data logging the crankcase vacuum. You got a vacuum pump. I said, yeah. He goes, man. He said, y'all call Jeff and ask him. So I called Jeff and Jeff goes, yeah, that's pretty important. 